Hi, I'm Christopher Arlo from Milestone Systems. In this video I'm going to show you how to configure XProtect Go so you can view and record video from two USB cameras. Like all of Milestone software, XProtect Go lets you connect to a huge variety of cameras. Right now we support over 900 different devices from more than 80 different manufacturers. This means you can connect virtually any IP and analog camera on the market, including USB cameras like this one here, or laptop webcams. XProtect Go can handle up to eight cameras, but only four of them can be USB cameras. Now, the process I'll demonstrate now is the same one you'd use for adding your laptop's webcam. But before we get going, there's one thing you do need to do, and that is to close any application that might be displaying video from your USB cameras. So that includes any setup and viewing windows, Skype, and so on. Okay, let's get started. Both of these USB cameras here are installed and running on the PC, but neither of them have been added to XProtect Go yet. You use the management application to configure XProtect Go, and you can open that via the Windows Start menu or by double clicking the desktop shortcut. By the way, if you encounter problems opening the management application or the XProtect Smart Client that we'll be using later, check if your PC's firewall or antivirus program is preventing the XProtect software from running. Now, the easiest way to add a USB camera is to use the Add Hardware Devices wizard that you can see here on the main screen of the management application. The Add Hardware Devices wizard offers a number of ways to detect devices that can connect to the system. Now, the fastest way to detect USB cameras is to simply use the Express option. Pretty soon, the wizard should detect the USB cameras and list as a single entry with the address 0001. Once this is done, simply click Next. In the final step of the wizard, you'll get an overview of the devices you've added to the system. Now, as you can see, four possible cameras are listed. This is because XProtect Go was able to handle up to four USB cameras. What you have to do now is tell XProtect Go how many USB cameras are really connected. As you can see, the first box is already checked. So all you need to do is click the next one on the list so Go knows that you have two cameras you want to use. So now your USB cameras are connected and you can close the wizard by clicking finish. After that you can close the management application and when you do that you'll be prompted to save your changes. Okay, now you've connected your cameras. The next step is to view live and record a video. And for this, you need the XProtect Smart Client. Like the management application, you can launch the XProtect Smart Client from the Windows Start menu or by double clicking the shortcut on your desktop. A login dialogs box will appear, and by default, you'll see the following settings The server address is localhost because the software is running on this PC. You're using basic authentication, which simply means the user is only registered in XProtect Go. The default username is admin, and so is the password. If you have used the XProtect software before and defined another username or password, you should of course use these. Now click Connect. A screen will appear containing a variety of useful information about XProtect software, and when you're ready, just click OK, and you'll see the Smart Client. The XProtect Smart Client has three main modes, each represented by a tab. Live for viewing live video, playback for playing back recorded video, and setup for setting up your XProtect Smart Client. As you can see, there's live video coming through from the two USB cameras that you've just added using the management application, and it's shown a default view, which in this case is one which we call a 2x2. Now, USB cameras are simple and inexpensive, but it's worth keeping in mind that they use a lot of computer processing power. This is because they deliver video in a raw data format. So to start with, you might want to limit yourself to just a couple of USB cameras, and keep an eye on the CPU load of the PC you are using. If you want to connect IP cameras or analog cameras to XProtect Go, check our website for videos on how to do this. Okay, that's about all I have for you now. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to learn more about setting up or using XProtect Go, I can recommend looking at the Getting Started Guide, which you will find on our website under www.milestonesys.com go. 
Uh, you'll also find other videos about how to use Edge Protect Go, answers to frequently asked questions, and a support forum. Okay, that's it. Thank you.